Sometimes you have something and you want the other people to keep it secret, especially when you're building something. In this video, I will tell you what the NDA is and how we can use it. I will also show you a couple of examples that you can use. If you have a question about the NDA or anything else about contract of agreement, feel free to contact me. Let's begin. discuss three examples how you can use a certain kind of agreement to get what you want so let's start imagine you have a developer software and you want people to test it it's important that the information that they get from the software that they keep the information secret the thing is you can make an agreement for that I want to show you what kind of agreement you can make and what you can put it the second thing is when you have developed the software you want to sell it you hire people to sell it for you the question is how can you keep certain kind of information secret about the software i'm going to show you another agreement that you can use to do that and the third option is if your client buy the software what kind of rules can you make for the client about the software that's the third option that i'm going to discuss with you so let's start If you want to make a certain kind of uh, agreement with the client about the software, you can ask him to keep the information about the software secret. You can also make an agreement about it. And this is one of the agreement. This is how it looks like. And in this agreement, you can talk about what kind of information they need to keep secret. It's important to put that in the agreement because if you do not do that really well, but I see a lot of time, it won't work so it's important to know what kind of information you don't want clients to share with other people and it's also important to put that in the agreement this is how you use this kind of agreement imagine the following situation you sell the software to a client and you want the client to keep certain kind of information secret about the software imagine you sell the software to a client and you give them a license in the license you can put certain kinds of agreements like I want you to keep certain kind of information about the software secret. You can put all of those kind of information how they have to keep it secret in the agreement. And this is an example of it. If you want to know more about this situation, feel free to contact me. I will help you. And another thing is if you hire someone to test your software and you want them to keep certain kind of information secret, it's important to put that into writing. In this situation, you have a person that owns the software and a tester that has to test the software. You can put in the agreement what kind of information the person may disclose and may not disclose because this is really important. And you can also put other things in the agreement. Here you see an example of the agreement. If you have question about this ag um, agreement or you want someone to look at your own agreement about software test agreement, feel free to contact me. This is the end of the video. I show you how NDA work and how contracts work. If you have question about anything else of you want someone to check your contract or you want someone to make your contract for you, feel free to contact me. See you in the next video. <laughs>